What if I want to create a multi-level bomb? Let's walk through the steps of creating a bomb, part, and then assigning that bomb, part, as a component of another bomb, part. Open CTEC and click parts. Click lists. Click part list. Click create new. Assign your new part a PRC code. Any PRC codes you've created will show up in this drop down list. Fill in the part number. You can also use text here. Add a description for easier searchability later. To make sure this part gets set up as a bomb, I need to click this checkbox. A new field appears. I can leave it blank or type in a revision number, name. Click Create. Now it's time to add my components. I will only be able to add parts that have already been created in CTEC. Click Update. Now that I've set up my sub-assembly, I can create my top-level assembly. Click Parts. Click Lists. Click Create New. Select the PRC code you'd like to assign to this bomb. Be sure to click the checkbox next to bomb. Click create. Add your components, one being the sub assembly you created. Be sure to click update to save the data you've entered on each line. Click update. Scroll right and click Update. Now that we've entered all of our component parts, let's take a look at the tree view of this new bomb. In the left side menu click to Part Record. Click Bomb Data Plus. Click Bomb Overview, 3. On the bomb tree, we get a good view of the multiple levels of this bomb. That's it. You're done. You've created a bomb with a sub-assembly.